Police are on the lookout for Jackass Alan Bam Margera after he went missing from a rehab facility in Florida. TMZ reports that Bam, 42, who completed a one-year inpatient rehab program for alcohol and drug abuse in May, was not allowed to leave his latest facility. The site notes that according to a Delray Beach police report, the rehab facility's manager reported Bam missing on Monday. Bam is said to have told the manager he was unhappy with the place and their services and informed them he would be leaving. Moreover, the TV star had said he would be checking himself into a different rehab center in the area before leaving in a black sedan. Bam is said to have been there under a court order, so there is concern that he was leaving without authorization. Mail Online has contacted a spokesperson for Bam Margera for comment. Last month, the TV star broke his right wrist for the tenth time and dislocated his right elbow while skateboarding over the weekend, but he refused pain medication due to his sobriety. The Pennsylvania-born star was attempting a trick that he hadn't tried in a year at a Florida skate park during a 30-minute break at a nearby AA meeting when his arm bent backwards, according to TMZ. A week before that, Bam, born Brandon, celebrated one year of treatment for drug and alcohol abuse at a Boca Raton facility, and he had said he planned on attending outpatient treatment classes for the next two months. Margera is currently sharing an apartment with his second wife Nicole Boyd and their son Phoenix Wolf, four, but they plan on moving back to Southern California soon to buy a new home. The former pro skateboarder's marriage to Boyd has lasted three more years than his prior one to childhood friend Melissa Missy Rothstein, which ended in 2012. Bim spent his Sunday hard at work on the set of the I Don't Love You Anymore music video for the band CVVE, featuring Raven Gray and Since When, which he manages. Last month, Margera privately settled his wrongful termination lawsuit against the Jackass creators over his firing, due to testing positive for Adderall, from the the successful fourth film, Jackass Forever. The stunt performer previously appeared in MTV's Jackass, Jackass, the movie, Jackass No. 2, Jackass 2.5, Jackass 3D and Jackass 3.5. Paramount Plus is currently developing a reboot of the Jackass series, but it's unclear if Bam will be involved.